Good morning everyone and welcome to our video today on this beautiful sunny morning. Now I don't know how things are going with you but I hope they're all going really well and I know that you've just completed your very last week of homeschooling so well done to you all that's amazing you've done brilliantly and I know this week you'll all be going back to school for the first time for many, many weeks. Now I don't know how you feel about the return to school. I expect there are lots of different feelings out there. And at the end of this video, we're going to be praying for you all as you all take that big step of going back to school. But however you might be feeling, there is one thing that it's always good to do, and that is to worship God. It helps us to take our eyes off ourselves and how we're feeling and turn our eyes to God and just remember his goodness and his love towards us. So that's what we're gonna do now. And we're gonna have another one of the Go Fish worship songs. And this has got some real movement in it. So I reckon you need to get up off the sofa and really let rip as we praise God together this morning.
Last time, we started to look at the story of Nehemiah. We saw that he was living in the land that was not his home and serving the king of Persia as the king's cupbearer. He was devastated by news from Jerusalem that the city walls had been destroyed and that the place was in a terrible mess. He wept, fasted, prayed and asked the king if he could return to rebuild the broken walls. God answered and he went back to Jerusalem with the materials that he needed to start repairing the walls. God had been faithful to him and answered his desperate cry for help. That's the first part of the story and it isn't the end. Before we find out what happened next, let's get ready for this week's quiz. There will be those lovely prizes again, so grab a pen and a piece of paper and see if you can guess where in the world Wally is. That was great, and I think Wally had fun doing that. Please send your answers into the email address on the screen and someone will win one of our prizes. 
they're getting quite famous now. And if you've never had a go at one of our quizzes, perhaps now's the time. Why not give it a go? Maybe you've given it a go in the past or you've entered one of our competitions and you haven't won. Well, don't give up, have a go today. Keep on trying and persevere. Perseverance is good. It helps you grow a strong character. Talking of perseverance and not giving up, let's take a look at the next part of the Nehemiah story. Anyway, Nehemiah went to work rebuilding the wall, but little did he know he was going to need to ask for a lot more help from God. See, God and his family have always had enemies, and these enemies wanted to stop Nehemiah and the people helping him. First, they made fun of them. So Nehemiah prayed again. He said, God, some people hate us. Please get rid of them, and went back to work. Now, God does hear and answer every prayer, but sometimes not in the way we expect or even in the way we want. And at first, it seemed like God wasn't answering this one at all, because when the enemy saw that Nehemiah was still building, they planned an attack. But Nehemiah trusted that God heard his prayer even if it didn't feel like it. And God did! He caused some people to overhear the enemy's plan and warn Nehemiah. Even though the enemies were still after him, Nehemiah planned a defense and told the others, don't be afraid of your enemies. Remember the Lord, he is great and powerful. And on they worked, building, building, building. The closer the wall got to being finished, the more Nehemiah's enemies realized they couldn't stop him by making fun of him or by attacking him. Hmm, time for something else. They tried everything. They sent messages to get Nehemiah to leave the wall and meet them. He wouldn't. They hoped Nehemiah's hands would get weak, but Nehemiah had asked God to make his hands stronger. They even paid a priest to ask Nehemiah to leave the wall and come to the temple. But Nehemiah trusted God more than anyone else, even the priest, and he refused to stop doing the job God had given him. Kids, are you willing to listen to God and obey Him, no matter what? This part of the story is full of peas. No, not these peas, those peas. So, there were lots of people, and they were all plotting and planning to try and stop Nehemiah from being obedient to God. They were pestering him, making fun of him. They were plotting against him and they were planning to attack and to get him away from the wall. So what do you think Nehemiah did in response to all this plotting and planning going on? I'll tell you what he did. He prayed. He asked God for his help. He prepared himself and his people to stand up against any of the enemy's attacks against them. That's what he did. So what can we learn from this part of Nehemiah's story? Being a child of God is just amazing. But it is not always easy going. Sometimes following Jesus and living our lives the way that we know God wants us to can be really hard. Actually God tells us that in the Word in John 16 verse 33. It says, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So even though we may believe in God and we do the right things, we will still sometimes face struggles. Now when that happens, you should do what Nehemiah did. Pray, prepare and persevere. The Bible tells us that when we do that, it will help us to build a strong character which will give us a great hope 
to overcome any obstacles that we might face. So we can see from this part of the story that being obedient to God and doing what he wants us to do is not always easy. There'll be people who may try and put us off and who give us a hard time, but we must not give up. We must persevere. You know, when my dad was a young man, he had to go and do what is called national service. Now that means he had to go and join the Royal Air Force for a time. And he had to leave home and go to an Air Force base in another part of the country with lots of other young men. Now my dad always wanted to obey God. And he had as part of his life regular times to pray. And he would pray at night before he went to bed. And he always did it by kneeling beside his bed. Now when he arrived at the place he was going to stay with these other young men, he wanted to carry on doing that. So at night, he knelt by his bed to pray. The other young men in the room with him gave him a hard time. They laughed at him, they called him names, and they even threw their shoes at him. Now they would have been big, heavy boots. But my dad didn't give up. He persevered. He kept doing it because he knew that putting God first and doing what God wanted to, him to do was the most important thing. We must never give up when we follow Jesus. We must always persevere even when the going gets tough. So Nehemiah persevered, but this isn't quite the end of the story. We'll be back in our next video and we'll be sharing with you the end of the story of Nehemiah. So you will find out what happened then. Before I go, if you remember at the beginning of the video, I said that we'd pray for you all as you return to school tomorrow. And I'm just going to do that. And I just want you to gather with your family and maybe they'll pray for you as well as you take that step of returning to school. So let's pray, guys. Lord, I just thank you that you have been so faithful to us over the last few months. You've helped us. You've helped us on our way with our schooling. You've helped our parents as they've guided us through it. And Lord, I just want to pray for all the Uber kids as they return to school tomorrow. Lord, will you bless them? Will you help them? God, will you take their fear away if they have fear? And Lord, I just pray that they will have a really fantastic week as they get back into school. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, that's it for today. It's been lovely sharing with you. I've really enjoyed being out in this gorgeous sunshine and I hope you have a great week. And do let us know how you get on this week. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget the competition. Get those answers in. Where was Wally? I look forward to hearing from you all. So take care guys and God bless. Bye.